welcome again students to another new video lecture so in last video we discussed about introduction causes and an example of kenya wheat field if you didn't get it then link is in my description below today we will discuss the rest three points those are testing example and importance of transgressive segregation and also solve a question that is transgressive segregation is related to which variation and what are the significant characters and the answer we will discuss in the last uh, part of our video so let's get started so in testing there are various methods uh, to check whether transgressive segregation is occurred or not so these are the two methods one is dunnett's test and second one is the qtl test so what is in case of uh, dunnett's test that if a hybrid species performance was different from the control group then there is a difference and that is an indication of transgressive segregation second one is the qtl test where alleles with qtl qtl means quantitative trait loci if alleles with qtl is opposed in case of either by over dominance or under dominance of the parental qtl then it is uh, indicate the transgressive segregation if alleles with qtl was the same as the predictable parent uh, qtl showed then there was no transgressive segregation now we will see the examples and uh, one by one we will see how it proves the transgressive segregation method so let's start with uh, riesberg's sunflower so what he done riesberg used sunflowers to show the transgressive segregation of parental traits okay he took two sunflower one is uh, um, helianthus annus and second one is the helianthus petiolaris from these two helianthus annus is the common sunflower and helianthus petiolaris is the sunflower variety so these two sunflower never face the um, or never tolerate the situation in uh, salt marsh sand dunes or desert kind of habitat so what he did that time he made a hybrid from helianthus annus and helianthus petiolaris so when he compare its fitness these three kind of uh, fitness the fitness of helianthus annus and helianthus petiolaris and that hybrid one then what he got in which area parent species would not be able to survive in those areas the hybrid one show the higher tolerance means in sand, salt marsh in sand dunes and deserts the hybrid one show the higher fitness the so the higher tolerance so here transgressive segregation allows those hybrids to survive in those areas therefore those species were more populated in those areas where parent species were not here they show more gene expression means phenotypically they show more gene expression than their parents and having some genes that are transgressive means extreme from their parent gene now let's see our next example that is weight in chicken so this uh, transgressive inheritance reported by punnett and belly in 1914 and 1923 what they have done they crossed the large golden hamburg chicken with the small sebright bantam these are the two uh, chicken variety and what they got all the f1 f hybrids were of intermediate weight uh, basically the hamburg chicken have more weight than the sebright one if uh, sebright uh, is of uh, 500 to 600 kg then uh, hamburg is about uh, 1000 to 1500 in kg so in f1 generation what they got they got all hybrids were of intermediate weight okay and next in f2 generation some of the chicken were heavier and some of 
were much lighter than either of their parents so punet explained that four pairs of multiple genes that a capital a capital b capital c and capital d influence the size of chickens the large golden hamburgers contain three pairs of dominant character and one pair of recessive alleles so it is like capital a capital a capital b capital b capital c capital c and small d small d similarly the smaller bantam chicken have three pairs of recessive and one pair of dominant genes that is small a small a small b small b small c small c and capital d capital d so why didn't he took that uh, capital a capital a capital b capital b capital c capital c and capital d capital d with the recessive one means uh, cap, small a small a small b small b small c small c and small d small d because if he took that one now then what happened that time because he found he uh, crossed the extreme condition means uh, not all in the dominant group and not with all the recessive group so he took the Uh, extreme character for this cross as you can clearly see here then the intermediate form that is in f1 generation that is crossed in uh, within and uh, resulting the f2 generation that is one variety like this and one variety like this so from this variety one is so larger and heavier than the parents and grandparents and another one is smaller and lighter than the parents and grandparents so here the character is totally segregate totally changed and extreme in condition so it's the example of transgressive segregation now importance so what are those importance we will get from transgressive segregation let's say if sunflower hybrid breeding is there then it is the advantage that we get high seed and oil hybrid and confectionery uh, markets high quality seed production hybrids resistance to dominant diseases or tolerant to dominant diseases uh, or not only improvement in drought tolerance but also introduction to the pest resistance salt tolerance changes of plant architecture for better adaptation so likewise it gave the opportunity to make hybrid make the better one from its parents uh, make the uh, fittest than the ancestor so it can be seen as uh, genetic engineering example uh, like that uh, the stb in kenya and uh, risberg so uh, sunflowers this method used to create a species that is more adaptable and resistant in areas where there there is environmental stress these are the importance that uh, we get benefited um, through this transgressive segregation so it's time to get the answer of transgressive segregation is related to which variation so the answer is it is related to the quantitative variation because it matches these conditions those are inheritance is controlled by several or many genes at different loci that express major phenotypic effects and its expression under strong influence of environment this inheritance is concerned with inheritance of multigenic traits then inheritance is unlike simple mendelian trait it is the formation of extreme phenotype and hybrid species or offspring generally possesses traits on characteristics seen in ancestral traits which are expected to be fit in comparison to the original species so this is due to quantitative inheritance clear your doubts in comment section below and if you really get benefited through these lectures then do like share and subscribe my channel